Pizzorno. I'm the author of Your Bones, and today I'd like to share with you some information that I hope will help you to have healthier bones. Uh, as we discussed in our last video clip, the trace mineral boron is essential for our bones' health. We need it because it helps our bones absorb and utilize both magnesium and calcium, and it also uh, boosts the activity of our bone-building cells called osteoblasts. In addition to these very helpful effects, uh, boron has been shown in a number of recent papers published in the peer-reviewed medical literature on PubMed to have other very helpful effects for our bones. And these new beneficial effects are the topic of this video clip. Um, the citations for these papers are provided along with this video clip um, at Algic House website. So what else does boron do for our bones? Perhaps most importantly, boron is an anti-inflammatory agent. This is an extremely important beneficial effect because, as you may have realized by now if you've read your bones, virtually anything that causes us to be chronically inflamed activates osteoclasts and thus increases bone loss. In Europe, boron is prescribed to support the production of healthy cartilage in joints, primarily because of its very significant anti-inflammatory effects. Boron has been prescribed for the treatment of osteoarthritis in Europe, especially in Germany, since the early 1970s. And in some osteoarthritis patients, the result of utiliz utilizing boron has been the complete resolution of their osteoarthritis symptoms. Several large population-based clinical studies have specifically shown that levels of a compound called C-reactive protein, which is a marker of inflammation, are inversely and independently associated with our total bone mineral density levels. Boron, when used in combination with a plant-sourced calcium, has been found to significantly reduce blood levels of C-reactive protein in humans. This is a huge impact on our bone health. Higher levels of C-reactive protein are strongly associated with lower bone mineral density. As, as I explained in your bones in, from many perspectives, Anything that triggers chronic inflammation triggers the overactivation of osteoclasts and promotes bone loss. The research evidence suggests that when we lower our C-reactive protein levels, we promote bone health by protecting against inflammation's uh, effect on activating osteoclasts. And what else does boron do for our bones? Well, boron has been shown to protect against what is called oxidative stress in animal studies. Well, what's oxidative stress? It's a physiological state that occurs when our bodies are kind of overwhelmed by reactive oxygen species, um, or free radicals. You may have heard them called free radicals. And we are not able to neutralize them anymore because we're producing so many of them. So these damaging molecules are then allowed to wreak havoc upon whatever tissue they come into contact with, including our bones. And in addition to, to uh, this, oxidative stress specifically will activate osteoclasts. In animal studies, boron protected animals against chronic, that were chronically exposed to low levels of a very widely used pesticide called malathion, which causes oxidative stress. And get this, it causes oxidative stress at the levels in which it is present in our food supply. So foods treated with this pesticide um, are causing oxidative stress in us, and they are contributing to bone loss. Malathion not only increases oxidative stress, thus activating osteoclasts, but also causes very damaging changes in the liver, kidney, and brain. In animal studies, boron not only decreased malathion-induced oxidative stress, but it enhanced the antioxidant defense mechanisms in the animals and actually regenerated damaged tissues in their liver, kidneys, and brain. And if you've read your bones, you also know that the liver and the kidneys are crucially involved in our activation of vitamin D, and when it's not activated properly, it does not help us to absorb calcium very well. So what else does boron do for us? Uh, boron has been shown to specifically promote bone growth in cell culture studies. When osteoblasts are exposed to boron, 